Hey, what's up guys? Mike Patrick and in this video, I want to talk about how you can become a really good athlete, all right? How you can become a really good athlete. And what I mean is you can be proficient at very many different sports, okay? Different sports you can hold your own if you master these principles that I'm about to talk about right now, okay? Now, the key to being a great athlete is footwork and coordination. That's it. If many of us looked at it that way, we would hone in on our footwork and our coordination and then we can alleviate a whole lot of wasting time and things of that nature on you know just being to say if you're a basketball player being in the gym for hours if you're a football player being on the field for hours and things of that nature you know how some people they have to practice really really hard to become good at a sport and they have to dedicate a lot of time and energy and effort okay and then some people are naturally gifted athletes okay and the reason that they are many times is because they have good feet okay good footwork and good hand-eye coordination now so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you a drill that I've been working on with Napoleon okay and this is going to help him with boxing this is going to help him with basketball this is going to help him with tennis football any sport that he chooses to take up okay he will be able to be proficient in those sports because his fundamentals is down his footwork so I don't really hone in on a particular sport with him you know I want to hone in on his footwork and his hand-eye coordination and his development and his health okay so he can grow into his body and, and his and his strength okay so at some point if he ever does decide to play a sport or any sports okay he don't have to spend so much time on a specific sport and start at a sport from day one I know plenty of guys who were great athletes who didn't play a certain sport their whole life jumped right into that sport and became better than guys who've been playing the sport their whole life based on the fact that they were better athletes okay so for one we're going to show i'm going to show you how all sports pretty much are tied in once you master your footwork you can be okay in all sports okay at least okay so that football is just like boxing basically with your footwork okay so now notice how in boxing when you're backing up you're always leaning off your front foot and you're stepping back that's boxing and you're pivoting okay and you're pivoting and moving around that's boxing okay when you're going forward you always you're stepping off the back foot okay what's well, the same thing with football if you play football if you play quarterback you're backing up right you're backing up off that front foot you're coming forward off the back foot it's the same it's the same thing all right so and also with punches okay think about it when you throw a two when you throw that punch and, and back, I mean a boxing okay it's just like you're throwing a football it's the same motion big two punch throwing a football see so it's all relative okay so once you master your footwork you can you know already have a heads up in other sports so come on champ i'm going to be backing up as you're going to be coming forward he's going to be working on his throwing and the big two punch and also his jab like his jab as he's backing up all right go i'm sorry about my daughter guys just ignore um, her talking right now and then just watch what we're doing here. So back up, you're backing up off your back foot, boxing stance. And now you're backing up off your back foot. See, he's working on his boxing and football. All right, now I'm going to back up. All right, guys, see? So, and also hand-eye coordination. So we're throwing a football, so that's working on the hand-eye coordination. You want to work on that because that also helps you with staying sharp, okay? So anyone, you don't have to be trying to go to NFL. You don't have to try to be a professional athlete or anything like that. You work on your hand-eye coordination because it helps you stay sharp, okay? As you get older and you start to decline and things of that nature, you work on your hand-eye coordination because that keeps you sharp, okay? It works your brain. So, you're working on your hands and your eyes. So in any other sport, football, you need hand-eye coordination. As a quarterback, as a wide receiver, any sport, any uh, position on the football field, you need good hand-eye coordination. Uh, baseball, you're catching the ball. Anything that involves catching, you need good hand-eye coordination. Boxing, you need good hand-eye coordination. Okay, so you master your hand-eye coordination. Football, I mean basketball, hand-eye coordination. Anything that you have to catch a ball with. Okay, and so if you master that, all right, then you'll be fine. But any sport, you don't have to hone in on a sport, dedicate too much time in your life 
to a sport, okay? That's why with him, he's eight years old. I've never really made him play a sport. I don't push him into sports because I realize the smartest thing that you can do with a child is work on their fundamentals. Work on your hand-eye coordination and work on your footwork. And if you have it in your genetics, if you're gonna have good size and things of that nature, you start working on the skills later on because you also don't want to burn your children out. A lot of people burn their children out trying to put them in sports early thinking they're doing a good thing. And then the kids, by the time they get a certain age, they don't want to play certain things no more. Okay, so, um, and then it's a lot of trauma in different sports too with kids growing up, okay? So you don't want to put your team, uh, your kid in an atmosphere. It's just like sending them to school. That's why a lot of people like to homeschool because you can put them in an atmosphere on different teams with different children and they have different experiences and things of that nature. So it's best to just let your child develop work on his fundamentals, and when they become mature, then they can play any sport. I talked about a guy who I played football with who this guy didn't decide to play football until his uh, sophomore year in high school and was one of the best receivers in the, in the country based on the fact that he just had natural, um, hand, great hand-eye coordination and good footwork. You see what I mean? So you don't have to spend a bunch of years on these sports, and you don't have to try to go to the, uh, the professional, to the, excuse me, the 